Hello and welcome back to our FM23 beta save. We are currently managing Tottenham Hotspur and we are on episode four. In this episode, we go through our pre-season, we make our first sign-in and we go into our first competitive game. And here's a little bit of a taster. And then our A team, we lost to QPR 2-1. Let's go into that game and I'll tell you why. Langley got sent off on the 79th minute, went into midfielders and did my own bit of scouting and... We've bought some. What's the scores going to be? I'm going to predict 3-0. I would like a clean sheet and a few goals. So 3-0, definitely. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a like. It does its usual thing with algorithm and gets it out there. And if you really want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Right, let's get FM in. So this is how we did. We have five friendlies. We originally had four booked in and I thought, oh, wow, that's a big gap between 12th of July to 8th of August, nearly a month. So I booked in another one with Juventus, playing them at home, rest of them away. So how did we do? We did pretty well. You're going to see one loss there and we're going to go through that in a minute. Let's just go through these. So Barnsley away, we won 3-0, pretty standard. Then we played Colchester, our B team won 2-0. And then our A team, we lost to QPR 2-1. Let's go into that game and I'll tell you why. Langley got sent off on the 79th minute. To be fair to QPR, we was drawing 0-0 anyway. We wasn't playing that great. As you can see, it was really tight stats. And then we got for goal with 10 men. Lucas Mora got for goal with Gil assisting. And then for the last 10 minutes, I I think I chose to go defensive or cautious. The team just went, oh, okay, cautious means that we don't need to play. We've got for 1-0, we're going to win this. And QPR scored at eight first minute and then ninth second minute to win it. And if we just quickly look at the XG here, this kind of tells you the story. We was dominating even up until half time, our stats was up there. And then we obviously got for sending off, but we got for goal and shot right up there in XG, which was deservedly so, but there's a crumble there is a crumble right here fine it's a friendly we move on so we then played Redden away 2-0 Abbey team won that you know what after those four games I thought I don't know we haven't really played anyone big and this is where I went and booked this Juventus friendly I even put a tweet out just so I was like yes we are now ready for the season and the reason why is because we absolutely dominated this game 25 to their eight shots but what got me and made me like yes to dominate 65 percent of possession against Juventus is pretty good and I think those tweaks that I made and formation that I'm using it's very possession orientated but my attacks are coming out wing get the ball out wing defend coin for center in my five attack down for win with four and get the ball into Kane. Definitely deserved that win. And this is what made me very excited for the season, that if we can play like this all season, we could do quite well. This could be a successful formation. Might have found a, a winner already. So we go into our first game of season, Nottingham Forest. I'm not doing what I was doing in my last save in Football Manager 22, and that was I was doing instant matches. Because we're only going to do one Let's Play this Football Manager, and that's going to be our unknown to icon. We're actually going to have live footage. And plus, I felt that doing things in matches and then replaying the games and the footage to me just seemed a bit meh. I don't like that robotic reaction. I want to see live. I did a little bit of a teaser in my last thumbnail stating squad planner because it was about squad planner. It was the first time that we was going through it. But I did it on my thumbnail. You might have noticed if you haven't, go check my channel out. I put X on Hoiberg because we was looking to get rid of him because we found from our squad planner and how we try and shape our team. We had far too many ball winning midfielders. We had no playmaker. We had no one with passing or vision. And we laughed that Harry Kane actually was the best suited player. He's my playmaker. <laughs> I mean, look at those stats. But there was no way I was going to sacrifice a world-class striker to become a playmaker. I put my scouting focus on. They came back with nothing. But it found no one, not even like for close, because they do um, stats where it's close to what you're looking for. It came back with zilch. 
So I went across and basically went into midfielders and did my own bit of scouting and we bought some. And again, that player was on that thumbnail with a nice big green tick. If you've seen it, and then you will know who I've bought in. If you haven't, let's go and show you. And there you go. There is our new signing, Yuri Telemans. I think this is going to be a real good signing. So if we go to the LP, bring that in. Going to have him as a defend. There we go. First start, 16, passing 18 tackling 12 it's not too bad technique 17 positioning 12 teamwork 14 not bad vision 17 decision 16 so for me for three key things for a playmaker of his sort would be passing vision and decision making he's got it all and i'm very excited this is a breakdown and here you go so installment six monthly uh leicester city are owed another six installments of 3.3 million each so i mean we don't actually pay this fee off until 2025 plus we've got all those stipulated as well so i really really broke down this transfer because we're a rich club but we can't afford obviously we can afford to bring him in unless we did this breakdown i got my man and he fits in lovely into this team now there we go so this is my start in 11 so we're gonna have loris in goal romero dyer langley back three emerson royal on for right with perisic on for left as complete wing back and then we got Bosoma as my ball winning midfielder. He was in during preseason my DLP, but we brought in Telemans who sits there. That's a strong, strong centre midfield. And then up top we've got Kalafsevsky and Son and Kane, but I think Ricarlison might come in there. Gone fairly narrow because obviously I want to attack from mid. I kind of want to bring for teams in using that middle, but with the players out wide with my wing backs, my inside forward so if we're playing compact it's going to open those gaps from my com complete wing backs that's the idea so what's this uh director of football i wanted to make you aware of expectations below that you should consider taking for our upcoming match against northern forest board expectations for expectation okay this is new voice of the board anticipating being spoiled by some exciting and attacking football counting on possession football being the chosen strategy oh so this is like kind of i feel like this is just that added pressure that your supporters and board they have these expectations which is fair enough and we all know it in the background but actually seeing the voices of this it's split down off expectation would you feel that you would be influenced by this of your decision making as a manager could you know it could with some people and if it's not going your way you're going to then start to try and stand good side of the board and supporters you're going to try everything you can to just do what they're asking and that's not how it should be you should be following your own philosophy even if you get sacked and then learn from it and then take it into a new club maybe a better way that's that's again my view might just be overthinking this here we go here we go here we go our first competitive game in football manager 23 this match we should be winning yes i feel great i've been looking forward to this for a while and can't wait to show everyone what i can do uh i want to be more respectful do not do for us it's still a challenge we have to be up for it what's the score is going to be i'm going to predict three now i would like a clean sheet and a few goals so three now definitely oh first highlight can it be a quick a quick goal oh it can be as well oh amazing but it's just the start i wanted what a ball what a ball dijan Dijan gets a goal and Tillemans it was Tillemans with that ball his vision his passing and this is exactly why I brought him in oh he could be for signing of the season is it too early to say that yes or summer oh Tillemans was coming out about that Kane's got the ball to Son oh good save Henderson oh Kalafuski Kalafuski oh that was quite good Come on, Tillemans with the ball in oh I had it oh hit the net no, in Forest just aren't really getting a ball. We've got 69% of possession and it's half time. Oh, eight shots, five on target, four corners, and they've had zilch. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's a good start. Yeah, I'm happy. Come on, boys. Created a lot, but we do need to be mindful of getting that goal. We know how horrible football can be sometimes. It's the ninth minute. Okay, let's make a change. We're playing well, but we haven't quite got that comfort, that barrier. Son, he's playing 6.5. He's not playing that great. Maybe he doesn't like being on that left 
I can't change, I can't take Kala Savesky off. Maybe it's just going to be a fitness change. I'm going to take Romero off and bring on Sanchez. Bring on Tanganga. Who else is fitness? Looks a bit wavery. Bosoma is nervous. Let's bring on Benten Core for Bosoma. And let's bring on. I feel like because Sun's not playing well, I'm going to take him off and bring on. Mm, Brian Gill. I think Brian Gill had a really good preseason. It's going to be 1 0, guys. Yeah, 1 0. How did we not score more? Hmm. Should I be worried about that? We're at home. We dominated. 66% six, six possession. Passing completed is fine. High 80s, low 90s is always good. 15 shots. Only 6 on target. That's not that great. And 1 0. First game of the season. Let's put it down to that. Things can only get better. 3 points on the board. Maybe my expectations, because we beat Juventus 4 1. Maybe I'm like, oh, come on we should be being forest 10 nil thank you for watching new to my channel check this out